to Games Master in the commercial bit that you've seen a lot of adverts. What you don't know is one of them was a total lie. I'll leave you to think about exactly which one it was as we go to today's Celebrity Challenge. I've never been to New York City myself, but with all that crime and depravity, it certainly sounds like a wonderful spot for a holiday. My next contestant will be paying it a visit in the form of the PlayStation's Die Hard trilogy. Positioned behind the wheel of one of the city's infamous checkered cabs, the player must race around, attempting to defuse four bombs before they explode. Time is of the essence, so I would advise my contestant to avoid wasting valuable seconds in the needless slaughter of pedestrians. Okay, so in a fine piece of televisual symbiosis, our special guest tonight is the bloke you can see straight after us on Channel 4. No, it's not the guy who says, next time you're a roof leaks, don't say I didn't warn you. It is Paul Lation from Hollyoaks. Yeah. Welcome to the show, Paul. Hello, I'm sure it's an honor uh, for you to meet me. It is, it's an honor to be here. Okay, Paul, uh, you're on two nights a week now. Yeah. Paul, so presumably you get, are you getting twice as much money now? <laughs> Um, yeah, I suppose we are getting twice as much money, yeah. How much, uh, I mean, you know, putting humour aside for, for one second oh, on the show, obviously. how much exactly do you earn? How much do I earn? Yeah. You're just asking me how much I earn? Uh, I think so, unless I've gone mad. Um, about six to nine grand a week. Six to nine grand a week, so yeah. it's considerably less than I get. Oh, just in the Hollyoaks though, just right. in Hollyoaks. Okay. Oh, because I've got my sideline jobs. Yeah, you do DJing, don't you? I do, yeah. Have you got a special DJ name? <laughs> uh, DJ Success. DJ Success. <laughs> Was that, the, was that your first kind of attempt at a name, or did you come up with a... You know, uh, I was DJ Puffin. Was Puff that the best one? I was DJ Puffin. DJ um, Puffin? Yeah. Uh, I like that one. Uh, <laughs> DJ Goose. Um, but no. Uh, There's an animal theme <laughs> running through. There was an animal theme. And then you came with success. <laughs> yeah. Which isn't technically an animal. Well, no, 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 but successful success. Uh-huh. Okay, Paul, uh, if you would like to assume a games playing position over there, mate. Oh, up me old diamond. I will uh, go up to the recovery position. And sitting next to me in my own personal commentary cab is Rick Henderson. Rick, cab drivers are a good or a bad thing? Well, my uncle's a cab driver, so they're definitely a bad thing. Uh -huh. he's, a, he's a complete lunatic, uh -huh. and he's crashed into about 500 cars. 500? Yeah, 500 cars. Give exactly. Some cars. Okay. <laughs> right, Rick, have you got any tips for Paul on this? Yep, certainly. Well, he's in a yellow taxi, so it's crash into everything time. I like your uncle. With the, <laughs> with the three yeah. bombs. Listen to us. There is a red arrow up in the top corner, which will show him where the next bomb will be. So he's got to listen to us and take the right corners at the right times. So Paul has to whiz around the streets of New York and successfully blow up four bombs before they cause widespread damage. Uh, best of luck, Paul. Your challenge begins now. In the top left-hand corner of the screen, you can see a compass. That's the red arrow is pointing to where the first bomb is. It should be straight in front of him now. There it is. The red target shows it. Kaboom! That's the first bomb successfully taken out there. The timer in the bottom left-hand corner is ticking away to when the second one's going to explode. When the hand gets to 12 right at the top of the screen, then it will go bang. Rick, has got a good start from him. He's got a good start, and he's managing to pick up the bonuses. He's getting fire coming out his tyres there. That's the turbo mode. That's the turbo mode. He needs to use that a lot and pick up extra turbo to get around this course faster. Okay, does he want to be knocking into a lot of police cars? He's gone no. into the park! He went into the park and took out someone in a red jumper. Uh, okay, it's uh, right, all right, you can see the red arrow, it's straight in front of him, the next bomb should be dead ahead. Quite literally at 12 o'clock. The time is ticking away though, though it's getting closer and closer to 12. He needs to find this bomb soon, Rick. He should really turbo here. He's there he is, that's it. He got the second one that was lucky because the time was ticking away. Okay, then we can see the little red arrow is now straight, well, it was straight ahead of him, now it's going to easterly direction. That's it, it should be... Oh, no, he's, missed it. he's missed the turbo, but he's got the time bonus. At least he's got the extra time. Okay, uh, let's look at the time there. At this point, you can see the clock's ticking down to almost one o'clock. Man, when it gets to 12, it all goes bang. He took out another pedestrian there. And I just think that's a personal thing of his really there. Okay, now it's straight ahead. The bomb's straight away, but it's getting close to 12, but it's right in front of me. Might be like this, get it's a time. Yes, just before I got to 12. That's the third bomb successfully taken out. And the only damage done to the cities of New York has actually been by Paul's taxi <laughs> so far. And then, as if carefully on cue there, he takes out some more. Now we've got one final bomb. The time is ticking away. It's in a kind of easterly direction. He wants to make it north as he's done. I think it could be straight ahead, but we've got to watch that time right there. It's the last one. Is he going to get the time?
Congratulations, Paul. Thank you very much. It wasn't easy. Well, um, no, the last two bombs especially were uh, very, very close to exploding now. <sighs> yeah, I mean, I had to negotiate those corners, and it was just, like, very, very difficult at the last two. Was there any similarities you saw between that game and Hollyoaks? Kurt does drive a fast car away from policemen, so, uh, uh -huh. I, yeah, I could see him running over a few people and <laughs> smashing up a few cars. And in a lot of ways, Paul, life is just like looking for that next unexploded bomb. It's also like a bowl of cherries, Dominic. Is it? Yeah. But where's your stock? <laughs> where's uh, my joystick? Right, <laughs> well, very good question, Paul. Your joystick is just about to arrive. We could um, wax lyrical about cliches about life for uh, a long time yet, but that would be an entirely different show, probably late at night on BBC Two. <laughs> good tragedy, though, it is time to award the Games Master Golden Joystick to tonight's special guest, Mr. Paul <laughs> is fairly flipping my fingers off with an uncontrollable desire to make his presence felt once more. Let's sit back and watch his performance. 